All right, so I'm gonna show you a simple, quick hairstyle just to get all the little hair flyaways out of the face. Um, so first, um, you wanna make sure that your child either showered the night before, or if your competition is at the end of the day, then they can shower in the morning. But you kind of want some dirty hair. You don't want fresh, clean hair because then your hair will not stay because it'll be silkier. So for this hairstyle, I'm just going to divide the front section into just little boxes. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And at this point, you would just use some hair gel. So you can just, I just divide it like this. It doesn't matter how much, tilt your head back. You're gonna take a little tiny hair tie, get down low. Again, you'll wanna gel it because this is gonna stay in for competition. Um, hers I'm gonna take down and show you a different style later, so I'm not gonna gel it. And you wanna make sure it's nice and tight. These rubber bands are easy to take out of the hair because you'll just use nail clippers and just clip them. Um, and if your child just loves the style, they can sleep in it and it'll stay in. So if you don't feel like you have time, you can do it the night before. So this is what it looks like. Just a little tiny baby ponytail. Um, you can do however many of these that you want to do. Um, you can do a row of four, five, six. Um, it kind of just depends on how thick or thin your child's hair is. But just get as close to the scalp as you can. You're just gonna pretty much make like a headband of little baby ponytails. And again, make sure that you gel it um, before. If your child's hair is really curly naturally, um, I always use a water bottle and just spritz it whenever I need to get the little hairs to like stick together. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be up. And for those younger girls between the ages of five, six, and seven who have the little flyaways, this is probably the best hairstyle if you don't know how to braid. Um, or even if you do know how to braid and you're just afraid that your braid will fall down. So I'm only doing a row of four ponytails. And you need them to be tight um, because as they compete, it will loosen up. So they might say that it hurts their head now or it's giving them a headache. So this is what it looks like. You have one, two, three, whoops, and four. So it literally just looks like a headband of ponytails. So from there, you can either gather them all up and do your ponytail or your bun. Okay, and this just gets little flyaways. She has some here. So I would just, this one I'd either add extra gel or water and then hairspray. Um, or you can make another section in between the two ponytails, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. The easiest thing to do is you can just regular braid these, pull them all back into the ponytail if you want a different design. So I'll show you that. Tilt your head a little bit. Just little teeny tiny braids.
just gives it kind of like a design to it if they don't want plain Jane. Uh, but if you know how to braid and not French braid and your child wants braids, then what you would do is braid it back, add a ponytail, do them all, and then gather it. And once it's in the ponytail, you would take the extra ponytails off. Um, and they don't have to be in a bun. So that's what the braid looks like. It's easy. You would just do it to all of them. So I'm gonna keep going. This one that I'm gonna finish completely is like my favorite hairstyle for littles and for bigs. I think I had this hairstyle since I was like, I think I was 12 and still competing with this exact hairstyle that I'm gonna show you. So again, it doesn't have to be a perfect square, just dividing the hair up. And again, you would gel Put the ponytail in. And I'm using black ponytails, uh, rubber bands, but they come in colors and the colors are fine. All that I ask is that you pick the colors that match their leotard. So black matches are really hard. You can pick out the pink ones, but what we don't want to see is a green hair tie um, when we have no green in our uniform because it will really stand out. It just looks silly. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the section in between the two. So this is in between the two and I'm making a square right behind it. And you'll see why in just a minute. So you're not going directly behind. You're actually going in the crack of the ponytails in the front row. So my second row will only have three ponytails. And this is just really good style for any hair, any hair type because it just doesn't come down and you don't have to worry about it. And even if the ponytail comes down, all the hair is not gonna come down, and so it just makes it easier. So now from here, you're gonna take your front two and separate it into two. Separate into two sections, and you're gonna take a piece from each section and combine it to the one in the middle. So it makes kind of like a triangle here. So you have one from each side and it's connecting to the back one. You're gonna do that with each one. You have this extra one. It's just gonna stay down here for now. So you're gonna take the other half and take half from the third one. Again, you would gel these two just to be sure. I would not hairspray anything until the end because your hands are just going to be sticky and the hair is going to become super stiff really fast and you're not going to be able to work with it. This style, by the way, is called the soccer ball style. I didn't say that before. because it looks like a soccer ball at the end. So take your other half, a new half, combine it to the one behind it.
All right, so if you look at it from the top, it is starting to look like a soccer ball. You have your front row and then your back row, which is in between. So it kind of makes like a little triangle here. Um, you can do more rows if you want to make the ponytails even smaller. You can do three or four rows. I'm not going to do that this time. So if you notice this extra piece that's hanging down, you can go like this, which I'm actually going to. If your child has a habit of tucking their hair behind their ears, they do get deductions for playing with their hair. Tilt. So I would just get those little hairs that are gonna tickle their ears out of the way so that they don't even think about it. And it's not a big deduction, but all those little small deductions add up. So we don't want to give them anything that we don't have to. So there you go there. I'll do the other side. Apollo, come here. Oh, not Apollo, Aries. I was like, what? Aries, don't be bad, dog. All right, so from there, super easy. You would just pull it up in a ponytail. Don't worry about the back right now. Um, if your child has long hair, the back of the hair should make it to the ponytail. I will show you what to do if your child has short hair and it doesn't make it in a ponytail in the back. So you're gonna use a brand new ponytail holder. Do not use one that has already been used. And you're gonna make it as tight as you can. Sometimes one ponytail holder is not enough because this is just practice, I'm just gonna use one. Now from here, you can either, you can do a few things. If your child's hair is shorter, you can leave it. This is fine. Um, if it's, this is long hair, so I'd put it in a bun. But um, if it's, you don't consider it long hair, you can curl it. Makes it shorter. Curl it, hairspray it. Um, some kids like their hair in a really high ponytail. That's fine. Um, I know one of our girls in particularly every year, she braids the long hair. So this is a super easy, again, you're just regular braiding for those girls who have backwards rolls in their floor routine, I do not suggest a huge bun because it will prevent them from rolling very well. So here you would just again, use a teeny tiny hair thing. Tighten that up. Okay, you have some left, that's fine. Um, from here, you can either one, make another bun, or you can just simply wrap it around. Okay, and then you would use a bobby pin. And the bobby pins are meant to actually go upside down. So if you have actual like rivets in it, the rivets need to be facing down. And I would just go bobby pin crazy. Again, I'm not going to, but go bobby pin crazy. Um, from here, you would just take the hair, gel it up, hairspray it. Um, you can add another ponytail just to be sure it doesn't stay or it doesn't fall. Um, and then from here, you can add a ribbon that matches, a scrunchie that matches, um, a bow that matches, as long as it's gonna be something that doesn't just clip in, that it actually wraps around or ties. Otherwise, it's gonna fall out. Um, but anyway, I will show you what the finished product looks like. So from the front, it's gonna look like this. So as you can see on the top, 
all the little hairs are in place and the bun is just braided and wrapped around and you want after this that's the completed hairstyle for this one so you want to hairspray it off you want to some of the girls like to put glitter in your hair so you can glitter hairspray i would suggest doing that outside um and before you put your uniform on otherwise your uniform is going to have glitter all over it but here's the first hairstyle um i will post another one in just a minute 